name's Alexandra Ejikanyu. Um, I've been discriminated all my life um, um, through um, docs and government organisation, not all, but certain groups. And I'm here trying to explain what happens. Uh, when I was in foster care, um, I got discriminated um, a lot. Um, even when I was in schools, I got discriminated, got touched, and then they transferred me to another school. And they said I was crazy because I got touched by a male teacher and I forgot all about it. That's how um, I, I just went blank and forgot all about it. Mom told me about it. Um, I, I got, I've been abused at school, dug into to hands because I was slow. Um, and my daughter's getting discriminated now because of her slowness. Um, also, when I was in, as a foster kid, um, they would ignore what I say. They will write down what they wanted it to hear. Um, also, when I was pregnant with Faith, they'll target me, use my, um, you know, learned abilities, uh, like reading and writing. Just uh, that's what I had. My slowness is just reading and writing, and they'll just write out all these false stuff about me and my family, and pretty much um, label all of us as, you know, as sick, um, mentally sick, and that's what they do to a lot of foster kids. They say they're all mentally sick, and they get thrown out in the streets at a certain age. Um, cause the, cause they don't get paid by the government anymore. So they just chuck a lot of foster kids on the streets and they say they're mentally sick or they put them in a mental home, um, for kids. Um, and some of them tell the truth when they get abused in foster care, but they say they're mentally sick and target them as mentally sick. Um, so my, I don't, my daughter's human rights getting taken away the same way as I did and still getting taken away where doctors don't want to, um, do my blood tests because they're saying I'm paranoid that I'm making it up. Um, I have to beg them to do it. And only recently they found out I had really low iron because I'm not getting enough. I'm not eating enough red meat. So my iron's low. And um, yeah, so they, I, I just want to stand up for my daughter's rights. I'm following everything I'm trying to do. I told them from the beginning my daughter was a bit slow when she was a baby. She had grasping problems. They told me I'm not qualified to make that, um, to tell them that because I'm not qualified. And even though I'm a single mother, um, I try my hardest to defend my daughter's rights and I try to defend other people's rights if I can. I'm just um, doing this video to show that I'm trying my best and my abilities and I'm doing everything that I know, my legal rights for my legal rights get taken away from me too sometimes they tell me i have no rights they threaten me they bully me um and i don't want the same thing happened to my daughter and the same thing is happening to my mum's husband and my mum they uh, they treat her worse than an animal police animals have rights and and if they get abused they get their rights heard but if we get abused in this system um, our rights get thrown away or they say that it's in our heads um, and I just don't want that happening to my daughter I'm just trying to um, follow the system and asking for advice for the public uh, what to do and um, put it down that I'm doing everything I can to protect my daughter's rights um, what would you do if you're in my position um, all your life you get labelled as you know, some foster kid, a troublemaker, um, um, yes, so I'm trying to defend my daughter. My daughter's not violent in any way, she's very kind. Yeah, she, you know, like every kid tells, you know, every kid, you know, um, you know, be kids. And I want my daughter to be a kid and to laugh. And my daughter in the video sometimes doesn't take the video as serious because she thinks it's a game for her. Okay, thank you for listening. Um, I'm trying to defend, defend my on YouTube. My daughter's human rights getting taken away from her. Thank you for listening.